What do we call it when the whole is greater than the sum of the parts? Synergy. It's called synergy. Um, synergy ever happen uh, in nature? Mm -hmm. Yeah, matter of fact, there is nothing that happens in nature that is not synergistic. Nothing. Does synergy ever happen in people? In teams? Yeah, I mean, it did. How many ever heard of a, a guy named Buckminster Fuller, Bucky Fuller? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, well, he was sort of uh, my mentor uh, before, um, I mean, I, I had never met him. He died the week before I was scheduled to meet him. But I had read all his books and seen all his tapes, and I mean, I, um, I just sort of fell in love with the guy. And uh, this is Bucky. Look at this face. Isn't that beautiful? He was one of the great geniuses that ever lived. Uh, Bucky was in the same category as Einstein and Copernicus and others. Um, just a very, very brilliant man. The uh, inventor of the geodesic dome, which even today uh, has the highest strength to weight ratio of any structure uh, made, by, uh, made by humanity anywhere. It's the only thing that will withstand the uh, weather at the South Pole. It's also the only thing that's used on the side of Mount Everest and that sort of thing. They have tents and everything, but they're actually in the shape of a geodesic dome. Um, he did things like uh, the Dymaxion map. Um, he, he was an amazing guy. And he wrote, this was Critical Path. This was actually his most famous book. But he wrote a couple of books. This was uh, Synergetics. And this is Explorations in the Geometry of Thinking. And um, just so you won't run out and buy this book, I'd like, uh, Joya, maybe you could just put this picture anywhere in the book. I'm going to read you one paragraph. Who's that? That's Quinn when she was uh, seven. <laughs> I think I was just starting some of these things. So we, we don't have anything going on with this, do we? All right. Okay, so I'm just going to read this one paragraph open to this one page. And uh, here's what he had to say. Um, picking one out. The atomic proximity within the metals is of such high order as to give high tensile strength, which is resistance to being pulled and put asunder. Exquisite magnitudes of interactive proximities have nothing to do with the pressure. The phenomenon is coherently density. Density is a pulling together. The error of reflecting is here compa comparable to humans misapprehending the wind of, quotes, blowing. When we know that it cannot blow, it can only be sucked. Man is always thinking that we can push things when, we can when they can only be pulled. Men are pushers, women are attractors. These principles of interactive strengths and ordered, orderly ge geometrical yielding to the stresses are employed in, to a high degree in the manufacture of thin transparent plastic sheets, such as society is becoming familiar with in the use of the product. So I have no... Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out there was something that I did understand. I'd actually, I, have, I, have, I have read this book. Uh, actually, I've read it... Um, probably by now about one and a half times. By the way, this is 850 pages, and he hadn't quite said quite enough about the geometry of thinking and synergy, so he wrote Synergetics 2, which is another 550 pages, which is also exactly the same as this. But anyway, as I mentioned, there was something I did understand. It's on page 6. I marked it, and I want to read this to you because uh, in here he's talking about synergy in nature. If I were to say that the chain is as strong as the sum of the, of the strengths, excuse me, if I were to say that a chain is as strong as the sum of the strengths of its links, you would say that is silly. If I were to say that the chain is stronger than the sum of the strengths of all of its links, you might say that is preposterous. Yet that is exactly what happens with chrome nickel steel. If our regular logic held true, then the iron is the weakest part ought to adulterate the whole. Since it is the weakest link, the whole thing will break apart when the weakest link breaks down. So we put down the tensile strength of commercially available iron. The highest that we can possibly accredit is about 60,000 PSI. For chromium, about 70,000 PSI. Of nickel, 80,000 PSI. 
The tensile strength of carbon and other minor constituents comes to another 50,000 psi. Adding up the strengths of all the links, we get to 260,000 psi. But in fact, the tensile strength of chrome nickel steel runs to about 350,000 psi just as a casting. Here we have the behavior of the whole completely unpredicted by the behavior of the individual parts. So this is synergy.